Collider Crafters just launched their Mosh Pit tournament and they have a prize pool of $30,000. Stay tuned as I go over all the details and what I discovered playing the game. The Mosh Pit is a PvE third-person shooter survival game where you have to defeat waves of enemies as quickly as possible. I have to say right from the beginning that I was amazed by its quality, especially as it wasn't heavily marketed up until recently. The tournament is organized in two phases. Playoffs, where anyone who owns a Cypher NFT can participate, and Finals, where the top 25 scorers get to compete for some amazing rewards. The first place takes home $4,000, the second place $1,500, and the third place $1,000. The remainder of the prize pool consists of NFTs from the Cypher collection as well as from partner projects. Even if you don't own an NFT, the team has established numerous partnerships in the NFT space, opening the gates to players from different communities such as Journey Club, This Thing of Ours, Project Gojira and Non-Fungible Arcade. The team is called NXA, it is based in Argentina and it consists of more than 90 people, some of which previously working on Assassin's Creed, Mortal Kombat 11, Street Fighter 5. This can easily be seen as character design and attention to details are top notch. Moreover, they have also received Epic Games Mega Grant in July of 2021. Characters are designed in Unreal Engine and they can be heavily customized, thus creating player demand for owning and trading digital assets. The already launched Cypher NFT collection includes game-ready avatars and equipable assets that will become available in-game once the Mosh Pit tournament concludes. The team's focus on customization is also revealed by how the rarity system was designed. The main difference between rare and common NFTs consists of how many equipment slots that character possesses. This is an interesting and future-proof approach as the assets initially required to play the game could easily be integrated in other titles being built in Unreal Engine. As far as gameplay is concerned, it is a fast-paced arena deathmatch where you have to defeat as many waves of enemies as possible, as quickly as possible. The reason I am stressing this out is because you get more points if you defeat waves before the timer runs out. In addition, the game also has a soft cap as a match can last for a maximum of 20 minutes. You start out with a pistol and a melee weapon, but you can find additional weapons and health buffs scattered all across the map. A machine gun in the blue container, a semi-automatic pistol on top of the pink container, as well as on the upper rails. Apart from this, an RPG missile also drops in the middle of the arena, but pay attention as enemies can go for it as well. Every 5 waves you also get to face a boss and once you defeat him some weapons are replaced, for example for a shotgun or a sniper rifle. AI difficulty feels balanced, enemies taking cover or even jumping on top of containers when chasing you. Enemy diversity is also nicely tuned, ranging from regular mobs to suiciders and robot prototypes. Game physics and weapons feel natural for a cyberpunk themed game, meaning that even though you have enhanced jump and dash, weapons still have recoil. You can get on top of containers by jumping and dashing upwards or by using the tires that throw you into the air. In order to obtain higher scores, you must maintain control of the arena and actively chase down enemies as they spawn so you don't get overwhelmed and find yourself on low health as the next wave begins. There is also a very nice incentive for high scorers to keep playing the game throughout the playoffs as each day the top 3 get a Cypher NFT, which currently has a floor price of 0.25 ETH. This in turn keeps the competition going, which will lead to an extremely exciting final round. Unfortunately, I'm not even close to the skill level of top players as rank 1 holds a score of nearly 40,000 points. Cross IP tournaments are slowly becoming a trend in this bear market and I am glad to see such a positive and healthy building phase. On the one hand, communities are kept engaged through different events and rewards are even more enticing during these bearish times. On the other hand, shipping products in this challenging market makes it easier to spot teams that are committed to building and can survive the winter. The Mosh Pit Tournament is another proof that staying engaged in Web3 offers plenty of opportunities even in this bear market. There are countless of skilled FPS players that could easily compete and have a fair chance of winning more than $4,000. If only traditional gamers were more open-minded on the topic of NFTs and blockchain gaming. However, this is a discussion for another time so make sure you don't miss my upcoming video on how to find opportunities in crypto during this bear market. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.